Good evening, my beautiful internet friends. I am about to make myself some macaroni and cheese. It's not healthy, it's not good for me, but it's what I feel like eating at this particular moment in time, and so it's what I'm gonna do. Hi, Sophie. Easily one of the most bizarre parts of being an amputee is the fact that I never know if what's on my leg should be there or shouldn't be there, and I'll explain in just a moment when I take my leg off, but I woke up this morning, my leg was feeling weird, like oddly itchy, and then there was something odd on it and the pot's about to boil over. I should probably actually stir that. So I woke up and there was this weird bump on the scar that's on the back of my leg from where they did the TMR procedure, which I'll give you guys an update on that in a couple weeks here. I don't know if that's normal, and then I noticed that there were markings on other parts of my leg, and I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if that's something where I should like stay off my leg for a while, or if I should just panic and uh, assume that it means that I'm dying. Just kidding, it's it's not serious, but uh, it's been really, really itchy and weird all day, and today's the day after I went to the Ninja Warrior gym, so maybe, maybe it's just angry, maybe it's just upset. And then weird my socket has been like pinching the back of my leg which it's never done before like it's always hurt at the bottom of my leg and now it's hurting at the back like behind my knee and I don't know why I had this naive assumption pre-surgery that once you got a leg you kind of had the leg oh well I'm very spotlit right now I guess I kind of assumed that once you had a fit that worked right like yeah you had to modify it some but it's literally a moving target every day. And that's just weird. Like some days my residual limb will fit right into my socket, no big deal. And then other days I have to like work to stuff my leg in there because some nights my leg is really swollen and other days it's not. And you know, if I had too much salt the day before it can impact that or weather changes. And it's just this bizarre guessing game and I never know what, it, what it's gonna bring. Sometimes that's fine, sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's overwhelming, and right now, um, I'm just gonna eat macaroni and cheese and forget about it for a moment, and then we're gonna take a look at what my leg actually looks like. now. Yeah, but the issue is that my leg really hurts. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and fingers crossed my macaroni and cheese will still be warm when I get back. Yeah, I forgot a spoon. Yes, I know it looks awkward to like sit on the toilet and talk to you guys, but I, I promise the seat is down. So I'm gonna take my leg off here. It is really hurting. I just learned a better version of the TikTok dance that I learned a few videos ago. I have a friend who's an amazing dancer, thank you Erin, and she taught me some of the moves and so I've been practicing them and that was really fun but I think it aggravated the pain I was already having today so we're gonna pop a little sunshine off here and see what we can see. I always keep my leg in this room and like all my leg supplies just because of the dog hair. Dog hair is hard to get off of all of this, so I just try to keep them as far away as possible. Don't get me wrong, dog hair still litters everything I own, including my leg and my liners, but at least it's minimized. So the front looks pretty good. Might be a little bit hard to tell, but I woke up this morning to things like this and that, and this weird line, and that weird bump. That's actually a scar. And you see the part right in the middle there where it's like extra red? I don't know what that is. I don't know where it came from. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It itches, it kind of hurts. I should uh, probably stay off my leg for a day, so I may give that a shot. I'll probably send a picture to my prosthetist. It's so weird to take pictures of your residual limb and then send them to your doctor. Never thought I'd be doing that in my life, but here we are. Yeah, so weird things pop up on my leg and on my skin, and I try to keep it as clean as possible. But if any amputees out there have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm very open to hearing them. Oh, it feels a little bit better with my leg off though, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on some daily silly frustrations. So the lights up there are still on and at that angle they'll end up like hurting my eyes and triggering a migraine if I'm sitting down there on the couch with the puppies. And I meant to turn them off before I took my leg off because I have to get up the stairs and get up there and then turn off the light switches and I forgot, so now I have to like hop crawl up the stairs. It's okay, Sophie. She really wants me to pet her right now. And that's like okay, but it's just one of those things that takes extra brain power, especially at the end of a long day. Ugh. But it needs to be done. <sighs> Finally, safe on the couch. I don't know how and don't know why I've chosen all my life. 
I always feel better after warm food. My mom always used to tell me that you should have one warm meal a day. And in college, I was like, mom, cereal for every meal is just fine. Turns out she was right, thanks mom. So I wanna talk for just a second about the weird discrepancy of life right now. Like I mentioned, yesterday I went to the Ninja Warrior Gym and I did some really cool stuff, like way more than I thought I'd be able to do. I look back over that footage and I'm legitimately so proud of myself and like mind blown that I was able to do as much as I could. And I look at that as a snapshot in time and I'm like, damn, I can do anything. Like that's so cool. But then there's the rest of the time. There's every morning when I wake up and have to hop around until I can get my leg on. And I realize that there are ways around that, but it's difficult and I won't go into that right now. And I can't sit comfortably at my desk with my leg on because of how I sit. And so I have to wear clothes that I can take it on and off all the time with. And there's just a lot of little things that I look at videos like training for the 5k where I walked a mile and then going to the ninja gym where I'm doing really cool stuff. It's so cool to be able to do those things. It's also such a weird discrepancy to then wake up the next day and feel so <laughs> disabled. And I almost feel like that's like a dirty word or something I shouldn't say, but that's legitimately how I feel. Like when I'm out doing stuff, I don't feel any different than anyone else but when I have to use crutches or I have to like crawl places like a, like a dog on the floor, and believe me, I have nothing against dogs, but I am a person, then it makes me feel like weirdly less than. Not like I have less value, like I talked about a few videos ago, I absolutely know that I do, but just different and less than and uncomfortable. And then if I'm having a good day and I can wear my leg, then I feel like I'm on my way to being unstoppable. And I know that it'll get normal eventually, but I'm wondering when, that is and what that looks like. Like, will there ever be a day that I wake up and I don't think about being an amputee and all the steps that I have to go through to assemble myself and making sure everything's in place and making sure I'm bringing socks with me for the day. I mean, leg socks so I can like change as the volume in my leg changes and just thinking ahead all the time and using all that brain power, like even going up the stairs to turn the light off, right? Like stuff like that. Will that always just be an extra step, an extra thought or will there be a day where I literally don't think about it? As I'm saying that, I, I kind of compare it to trauma that I've experienced where I literally thought about it every single day for a solid seven years. Like there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't, it wasn't at least present in some way, right? And I've gotten to the point now where it's not every single day I don't think that happened to me. Right? And so maybe I'll get to that point and I hope to get to that point because right now it's uncomfortable and it's weird. It's funny because I always saw videos of Paralympic athletes doing crazy awesome things and you think, oh my God, they're more fit than I am and they can do everything. But you don't think about the fact that they have to like go home or go to their hotel room at the end of the day and take their leg off and then clean their leg liner and then clean their leg and make sure it's drying properly and make sure they have all their equipment and all that. Like, that never crossed my mind. I just think like, wow, they're doing cool things. And as I've posted videos, a lot of people have echoed that same sentiment of like, wow, I didn't realize there were so many steps to it. And I didn't either. I'm still learning it and figuring it out. I really want this to be normal, but it's not yet. And there are a lot of really cool highs that are happening. And I love that, but it's so weird to go from literally climbing across monkey bars and on a cool spinny wheel thing that I've never done before in my life to not being able to leave the couch and being in a lot of pain and having to use crutches or hop and not knowing if I could use my leg the next day in like the same 12 hours. It's just different. So I'm just over four months out post second amputation now. And when I say that out loud, I realize that's actually a very short amount of time to get used to things. So I think I'll probably get there. I just don't quite know what it will look like, if that makes sense. I don't know, adjusting to any kind of major life change is bizarre. It's funny to me how much outside perception has an effect on me. I'm not talking about like internet comments. I'm just talking about like what other people think. When other people make comments about like, wow, that's just like a part of you now. You're really walking well. Part of me is like, yeah, it is. And I'm super excited about that. And the other part of me is like, yeah, but the other half the time, I can't do anything. And I feel so hobbled and stuck. I was at a I was at a birthday party the other night and this is totally a joke. I hope no one takes offense to this, but um, we were joking that my cripple level was really low that day because I was moving around really well. So like there are days where my cripple level is low and my 
cripple level is high other days. It's okay, I am a cripple, so I can make a joke about it. It's a weird, it's a weird time. It's a weird discrepancy. It's all interesting. And I guess in reality, it's not that different from when I had my ankle and some days were good and some days were really, really bad. I guess that's just where I am right now, but the good news is, is that there's sunshine at the end of this tunnel and it will continue to get better and I'll continue to adjust. And that's why I did this in the first place. And I, I need to remember that in some moments because I'll be entirely honest, there are some moments where I'm like, would it have just been easier to keep my leg that hurts all the time? Cause my leg still hurts all the time. If it was gonna hurt all the time anyways, why, why did I go through all this hassle? But I do know why. And I get to see that more and more in moments right now. And uh, that's necessary after a year and a half of this. Um, I'm really grateful for that. Thanks for listening, guys. I'm gonna go back to watching episode four of His Dark Materials. Let me know if you're watching along with me and cuddling with sweet puppies and just enjoying a relaxing evening and kind of disconnecting for a while because I sure need it. Thank you to my patrons for making these videos possible. Thanks for listening to Bits and Pieces of My Life. I truly appreciate it. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Have her from the sky all about it Down the river high tide Love the more you live